I usually say good morning, but I'm actually starting this vlog a little bit later than usual. It is currently 1.33 and I am just about to leave to go and try on some wedding dresses at a shop quite nearby. I was just checking... Okay, an 18 minute walk away. It's called Isabel's Bridal, so I'm gonna leave any moment now. I mentioned it in my last video, but I don't know if it's a bit strange that I have some dress try-ons this week by myself. I have one today and two on Thursday, but I just wanted to be efficient and I'm really feeling the pressure that I need to find a dress. ASAP so I just thought I'll go and try a bunch on and then if I love any I can always go back with my mum or my friends to try them on a second time and then after this dress try on I am going to meet my friend Reb I still look the wrong way when I'm crossing roads by the way here I'm so used to England I'm gonna head straight downtown to meet my friend Reb and we're going to go to this really cool looking new bar it's like a hidden speakeasy bar and it's in Chinatown and it's inspired by the Chinese prohibition era so yeah I'm really excited to check it out it doesn't even have an address on Google Maps you have to enter this address for like a dumpling place and then I guess the storefront is like a fake thing I presume and then you go behind I don't know I don't know what it's gonna be like but it reminds me just of England like there's lots of these kind of quirky novel bars there like in London and Nottingham actually has loads of them so yeah it's really cool that Vancouver is getting places like this now it's just a bit different my mum has also given me a white mask to wear for when I'm trying on wedding dresses I don't know if any other brides to be at the moment can relate but it's just really strange putting on these beautiful dresses picturing you on your wedding day and then you're wearing a mask so at least it's a white one and it will tie in a little bit <laughs> actually had time to pop home and have a quick cup of tea which was lovely before heading back out to meet my friend I so I had a really lovely experience in that wedding dress shop the lady there was so lovely and I really liked two of the dresses I tried on were they the dress I don't think so I'm just I'm really curious like how many dress shops did fellow brides to be going before you found your dress? Although I guess, I guess it's also kind of luck of the draw because I could have found the dress in shop number one just by fluke. I guess. I'm just feeling a bit stressed now. I have a few weeks, but that's why I'm just trying to cram in as many as I can. Really hope I find one I love. This is the thing. I'm clinging on to trying to find that feeling that you put the dress on and you just know like you feel amazing in it it's perfect for you you're just like this is the dress i'm in love with this dress i'm just not sure whether that's a myth or not i've been asking a few friends because like i said i've tried on three dresses that i like i just wish i could like combine them different elements of them anyway i have two more dress appointments on thursday and those shops look really great and really promising and they carry some different brands i haven't tried on yet as well so we'll get there hey bella we love you so much we just want you to be happy healthy feel very loved know that we are so proud of you and to be comfortable and living your best life yeah and if that means you need that eye out then that is what we'll do so i've 
just arrived a few minutes early for the first time in my life. The place is just behind me and there's a few people waiting already. I think they open their doors at five. So I'm just gonna wait for Rev to get here. And then apparently we have to order the number seven from their dumpling menu to be let in. just got home. I hope I don't have anything in my teeth. I was just <laughs> munching some crisps. That was so much fun. So I couldn't film too much in, I hope I'm pronouncing it correct. I think it's called Laue. Oh, let's try and get this really dark out. So I'm trying to get some good light without getting my ring light out. So I didn't film too much. Also, it's sort of impossible to film in there because it's really dark on purpose, like mood lighting anyway. But it was really nice. I'd recommend going there. And then after that, we went to the American, which is a fun bar close by and they have like games like pinball and all sorts of games but we didn't realize when we walked in so it was just my friend Rev and I and they were like uh are you joining anyone and we we're like no just us two and they looked a little bit confused and then they sat us down and we realized there was like this twitch trivia night going on twitch Tuesdays <laughs> <laughs> and we were right in the middle of it so we obviously just like carried on talking but it was just funny like I'll put a clip in and you be well listen to my words because this round is out of 20 points this is a 20 point round all on its own oh music round we might one final quick thing tonight while I wait for my veggie sausages to cook. I've just thrown some vegetables in the pan as well. I put a question box up on my Instagram stories earlier today when I was just feeling a bit like, I'm never gonna find my dream wedding dress. I'm never gonna have that moment. And I just asked whether married people or brides-to-be had that moment, like, did you just know when you put the dress on? And it's been really interesting reading people's answers so far. So some people, yes, they put the dress on and they just knew, like they were just overwhelmed with emotion, just like, I absolutely love this, they knew. Others just picked their favorite from the ones they tried on. They never got that moment. They just thought, out of the five shops I've been to, this one's my favorite, so I'll go with that. And a few people had their dresses made. That would be wonderful, wouldn't it? I had an interesting thing from my best friend, Sophia. She really, really struggled to find her wedding dress. Like, she went to countless dress appointments and was just really unsure and, again, never had that moment. And I think she's going to look absolutely gorgeous like the most stunning bride in the world and I'm sure she's made an amazing choice but she has slightly been like oh was it the right choice she had to make a snap decision because otherwise she'd have to pay 20% extra rush fees and everything so her advice for me is actually don't have too many more appointments she knows I have two on Thursday but just to she said one of the things she thinks actually hindered her was that she tried on so many that you're just comparing stuff so like you're guaranteed that you're going to try on a dress where the train is absolutely perfect like you think it's the most beautiful thing ever and then you might try on another dress and that dress looks amazing on you but you've seen this other train you like it's almost like you're just trying on too many dresses where do you stop you could just try on dresses obviously I don't have years until my wedding but you could just keep going and going and going so I think she's right so on Thursday that will bring it to six dress yeah six dress shops I will have been to I just hope that it's an amazing experience and that I find the dress but if that helps anyone, I thought I'd share that, that you're not alone. Some people have the moment. Some people don't, and they just pick their favorite one. Some people have their dresses made. My friend Sophia said, don't make your life harder. It's like when you have too much choice of anything, too much choice of 
dinner options and you're just like I don't know any so yeah I just thought that was really interesting this is so cute so my pseudo niece Lola Rose who I was making the flower girl box for she's one of my best friend's daughters was just messaging me asking how to make the Bruno Mars talking to the moon opening your eyes challenge real and I feel so out of touch because I had no idea what she was talking about. I just had to Google it and it just reminded me of, okay, a few days ago, my Google Chrome updated and it just looks different. Like the tabs look different. I don't know. It's just changed in design. And oh my gosh, I just felt like I was turning into my mum who had me really young, by the way. So she is not old, but she used to think that I changed the Google picture. You know, that illustration that changes every day on the Google homepage. My mum thought it was me changing it. And she would literally be like, oh, Georgina, can you stop changing that? It's actually really annoying now. And I was like, changing what? She's like, you keep changing the Google picture every time I go on here. <laughs> Mom, I don't work for Google. Also, I am absolutely shit at art. Anyway, when my Google updated, I thought Paddy had messed with my settings because we have the same laptop. And I guess, you know, sometimes I open his by accident, think it's mine. He does it to me as well. And I literally went to be like, oh, Paddy, what have you been doing changing my settings on here? I was like, you know, Chrome's just updated. <laughs> you know, I have this thing where I make secret beds for Quentin around the apartment, which is essentially like a pop-up bed. He gets so excited when I make these little random beds in places. And we've just found a new place to make it today. It's usually like in a wardrobe or something. And this one has a good view, I'll show you. Is that nice, Quentin? A bed with a view today. Oh, lovely. Do you like your secret bed? Oh gosh, time for bed. Okay, looking slightly more put together. So I'm about to leave now because I'm going to two wedding dress appointments. So I'm going to the bridal gallery at 1.30 and then Lisa's bridal at 3.30. The appointments typically last up to an hour and a half and I believe these two places are right next door to each other. I think there's this whole little area in New Westminster where there's just lots of wedding dress shops. So I'm feeling really positive about this. Let's go. Okay, I've just got to the bridal gallery. When I said these two places were close by, they're literally right next door to each other so I cannot get lost. I've just come down a random side street to try and get away from the noisy road so I can vlog a bit. So I just finished trying on some dresses at the bridal gallery. Oh my gosh, that place is like, if you picture a wedding dress shop like from a movie, it's like that. It's absolutely stunning in there. And they have so many wedding dresses to choose and try on. But I actually only tried on about five because I'm just, I've really narrowed down what I'm after now. I tell you what, I'm just feeling so stressed that I'm not going to find the dress. So I really like two dresses I tried on in there, but again, it's like I wish I could combine them. One of them, it was so lovely, like really lovely shape, really flattering, great price. But it just had this, I think she said it's called Chantilly lace, like tiny, tiny, delicate lace that remind me of grandma's curtains all over it. And then on top of that, it had thick lace as well. So like, I love lace, but it was just so much of it. And I'm just, oh, I'm just feeling like, I really want to find the dress now. I really, really want to find it. I also didn't film too much in there because it was a slightly awkward atmosphere I found. Anyway, I have one more appointment in about 20 minutes. I'm just kind of wasting time. I should have booked them a bit closer together. And we'll see, maybe this is gonna be the one, fingers crossed.
can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I found my wedding dress. I feel like I'm gonna cry. I don't know what to say. Yes, I've put pajamas and fluffy socks on. You know me by now as soon as I get home. So I went into Lisa's bridal in New West and I would recommend any bride to be going there. From the moment you walk in, they just treated me like, just felt really looked after. And the whole place is beautiful. They've got these big chandeliers. It's gorgeous. It's just lovely being there. The, I don't know if, I guess you'd call her a consultant. Um, lady in there that I had was just absolutely wonderful. And so they sent me an email yesterday, which I was filling in during my admin day, asking like, to give them examples of dresses I've tried on so far that I loved or the things I did and didn't like about a dress. So when I went in there, they had already pulled aside a few dresses that matched my criteria. And then they went through like, yes, no, do I want to try them on? Then I tried some on and I really liked one of them. And I was like, okay, this is a contender. But again, it had this really high neckline thing going on. and. So they were, like every dress I've tried on, it's been like, you know, you might be able to get someone to alter that and it's just like not, not ticking all the boxes. And then the lady in there essentially said to me, okay, I know you said you didn't want this one detail, which I probably shouldn't mention on here because I feel like I'm just going to give away the exact dress I'm going to wear otherwise. He was like, I know you've said no to that, but I feel like you've been to quite a few try-ons and you're probably noticing some of the dresses you're trying on repeatedly. You know, when I sort of say, oh, I like this style of dress and these elements or these brands or this price range, I've actually been trying on some of the dresses multiple times. And sometimes you don't really realize until you put it on, you're like, oh, this looks really familiar. She's like, I'm gonna bring you out a dress that I think you'll love and do you wanna give it a go? So she brought it out and it had this one thing on it, not the fussy lace, that I have been like, no, I don't want those kind of dresses. And I put it on and I was just like, I think this is the dress. <laughs> I'm tearing up. I was like, thank you so much for suggesting this and encouraging me to try this on. I think this is the dress. I did get her to take a video, but I am not going to include it in this, obviously, because Paddy will see and I don't want to give away everything. What I will say is it's not too far off the dresses I've been trying and in fact, the bodice part of it is really, really similar to the bodice part of my most favourite one I tried on before this. So actually, I'm a bit confused or taken aback that I liked it so much because they are, when I've seen these dresses on the hangers, I've been like, no, sorry, I just want to avoid that. So I feel a bit shocked, like, I know people always say that you often go for a dress that's really different to what you have in mind when you actually put it on your body, you know. But I'm also like a bit like, oh gosh, because I've been saying no to trying on any of these dresses up until this one single dress I've tried on, I'm thinking, should I try a bunch more? Is this making sense? I have booked another appointment now on Sunday to go back with my mum when she's over in Vancouver just so she can see it. And I feel like I will make a decision and just be like, yeah, let's get it on the day because I'm so eager to get one. But maybe while I'm there, I should say, can you pull aside any dresses very similar to this so I can try them on just to rule that niggle out that okay, you've only tried this one dress on in this style, maybe there's like an even more perfect one. Anyway, I can't actually find the link to it online and I just called them and it's because it's the store's own brand. It's exclusive to their store. So I feel like you probably could really sense my genuine worry that I'm not gonna find a dress I love and maybe that is because I was just trying on the same styles, the same brands. And then this dress, I wouldn't have seen online. I wouldn't have tried on anywhere else. I can't believe it. Lisa's Bridal, if you live anywhere near Vancouver, definitely go in there. You will have 
the most amazing experience even if you don't find your dress in there the staff in there are just amazing at really listening to you, making i went by myself as well which i felt a bit not like embarrassed of or uncomfortable about but i did think it's a bit strange and like the fir first shop today i went into i got asked like three times while i was in there oh so is it just you can mum not make it can no one else make it with you i'm like actually i didn't ask anyone to come today what i didn't want to say to them is because i'm just trying to whip them out and just find the dress as quick as possible and try on a bunch more and then i'll bring my mum back or my friends back when i've made a decision um or narrowed it down significantly but just made me feel a bit like no i've already said three times like it's just me today and the lady in lisa's bridal just made me feel so comfortable and just this is not a paid for sponsored thing by the way. I wish. Lisa's bridal, please notice me. <laughs> this is exciting. Hello darling, how are you? So I went to two dress try-ons today and I think I may have found the dress. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be very, very excited. I'm going to be really it's one of my, the highlights of my life right now. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm glad you feel that way. Okay, I just thought I would squeeze a quick unboxing into this video because I have received this skincare set from Frey and I kind of match the brand colours. Okay, I have never tried this brand before but I've heard really good reviews about them online so I'm super excited to try them. They've sent me three items. We've got the Purify Me Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Come on camera. You can focus, don't follow my face. Okay, kind of. Then they sent me this Defense Facial Moisturizer with SPF 30. That is brilliant news because I've been trying to be really good with wearing SPF. And then this Revive Me Deep Replenishing Serum. Thank you so much to Frey Skincare. I am going to try these out and I will let you know what I think. I've been sat here watching Monsters Inside the 24 Faces of Billy Milligan that's out now on Netflix and I actually weirdly, well not weirdly because I always watch true crime on YouTube, <laughs> true crime and vloggers is all I watch. I actually listened to a case on this just a couple of days ago so I feel like I know this whole story so well now. Paddy gets back tomorrow evening it made me realize when he's not here i still watch or listen to all my crime stuff but there's one on here on netflix at the moment called the chestnut man or something and that trailer came on when i turned netflix on the other day and i was like oh i'm not watching that home alone i don't know if it's actually scary i just realized okay i still watch all my true crime stuff i still go to bed just as horribly late as usual but I do like weird things, so I try to wash my hair early in the evening while it's still light out so I'm not closing my eyes for too long in the shower in case a big baddie comes and <laughs> breaks in just as I'm washing my face and shampooing my hair. And I have noticed like I am not scared like, oh god this makes me sound such a whim, like I'm just too used to having someone here all the time but like I will be absolutely fine all day, all evening and then when I go to climb into bed and turn that final light off I'm like falling asleep like, <gasps> did I hear a noise? <gasps> Is that someone in the doorway? This case is so interesting psychologically, by the way. So Billy Milligan had what's now known as dissociative identity disorder or DID, which I've actually been learning so much about over these past few days since watching the YouTube video as well. The YouTube video I watched was by Sherilyn Dale and I think she's just brilliant. She has such a cool personality and she does a really good job, I think, of covering cases. So yeah, I'd really recommend you check out her channel and yeah let's see if you enjoy this netflix and by the way one thing to really note about this is like having did doesn't make someone a bad person it's not like a scary thing it's intriguing like it doesn't actually mean you're a criminal or gonna do anything bad at all so that's just one thing i would take from it on that note i will love you and leave you thank you so much if you've watched up until this point please please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it means the absolute world to me and it really really does help to support me and please give this video a thumbs up 
see you on Monday. Have a good weekend and happy Thanksgiving if you're in Canada. <laughs> Bye.